गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम ट्री दुबे इफ यू आर गोइंग टू अपीयर फॉर दिस इयर्स एस एस सी सी जी एल टीयर टू एग्जामिनेशन आई हैव बिन डिस्कसिंग सम वेरी सिंपल इफेक्टिव एंड प्रैक्टिकल टेक्निक्स ऑफ इंग्लिश इन माई लास्ट क्लास आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग हाउ यू शुड स्कोर हंड्रेड परसेंट मार्क्स इन योर कॉम्प्रीहेंशन सेक्शन एंड यू नो इट वेरी वेल that so far as comprehension section is concerned it is the most important section of that question paper if you can uh, assure 100% marks in sections like close test section like comprehension sen uh, section like sentence rearrangement then i am pretty sure you must feel sanguine about scoring the most no the 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 highest marks because these are three four serious chapters in that question paper so if you are going to appear for the coming examination i would advise you to tackle these four five chapters first before you go on to lighter chapters like common errors active and passive voice feelers idioms and phrases now in this class also i am taking one question from the same question paper that means 15th november 2020 question paper you must have already solved this but solving the question is not important what is important is developing a pattern a way of solving the questions and testing it how effective it is so if you have been applying another pattern of solving the questions and you find that pattern is more effective you should stick to that pattern you should adopt that pattern only but if you feel that the approach i am showing is more effective do follow because ultimately it is going to benefit you if you want to read the complete technique of comprehension it is given at page number 350 of my book objective english easy to hearts part 1 and i assure you i guarantee you you will not regret if you study the technique completely and then apply this technique on any question that you are solving now in the present question i am going to show you again continuing the previous classes method that means when we are going to solve the question first of all you have to find out the keywords and match the keywords with the questions that have been framed by the question setter hardly within a period of 15 to 20 days you can understand how question framers frame questions and then intensive practice will make your concept clear and you will become confident of scoring a rank so now let me take you to the passage look at the screen please let my image be here look at the first uh, paragraph of this passage it is going to be based on giraffe you must have seen that animal so how the writer is going to describe that uh, animal let us see the giraffe is the tallest land mammal alive its long its long legs and neck contributing to its impressive stature males can be up to 18 feet 5.5 meter tall females a little less in the wild these beautiful creatures stretch their necks beyond those of antelope kudu and even elephants to stripe leaves from the untouched upper reaches of trees the french zoologist jean baptiste lamarck is usually credited as the first person to suggest that long necks have evolved in giraffes because they allow them to get to the parts other herbivores cannot reach so if i ask you to collect the keywords from this paragraph what should they be according to you let us find them the first keyword will be the giraffe tallest land mammal alive because the topic is because the paragraph is talking about that particular animal 
and it is telling you that this animal is a tallest land mammal so the entire paragraph is going to be about the giraffe so you'll have to keep your uh, mind only on those words that can be very very important and leave out all those unnecessary sentences or necessary words that are just weaving around the animal so the second sentence so it should be the first its long legs and neck contributing to its impressive stature long legs can be another because this is very important the height of the giraffe is because of its because of its legs so long legs what is the height 18 feet up to here we are getting three uh, keywords number one giraffe the tallest land mammal alive number two long legs number three 18 feet tall let us have another in the wild these beautiful creatures stretch their necks beyond those of antelope kudu and even antelopes to stripe leaps from the untouched upper reaches of trees it is not important how taller it is in comparison to say antelope or kudu or even elephants what matters is here it can reach up to the tallest branch of the tree so here the fourth keyword will be the ability to reach up to the tallest branch of the tree okay so these are the fourth keywords coming from here is there any yes mention of the french zoologist jean baptiste lama can also be a keyword what is his opinion about this animal so the french zoologist jean baptiste lamarck is usually credited as the first person to suggest that long necks have involved in evolved in giraffes because they allow them to get to the parts other herbivores cannot reach no there is no other keyword because this french zoologist jean baptiste is talking about the same thing which has been mentioned earlier that means giraffe can reach up to that part of the tree where animals like uh, or creatures like antelope kudu elephants cannot reach and this uh, zoologist french zoologist is also repeating the same uh, piece of information so we do not have anything new rather we can say yes he is credited to have find it out so these are the four keywords keep them in mind number one the tallest land mammal alive number two long legs make him the tallest because of the long legs he can reach up to the tallest he can uh, reach up to the highest uh, branch of the tree and finally uh, this french zoologist has found or discovered this characteristic of this animal so these are the four five pieces about the giraffe so far we have seen now what about the other two paragraphs as a giraffe leaps in places where the soil is nearly always arid and barren it is obliged to browse on the leaves of trees and to make contrast uh, constant efforts to reach them he wrote in his 1809 book philosophy zoologic from this habit long maintained in all its race it has resulted that the animal's four legs have become longer than its hind legs and that its neck is lengthened so what can be the keywords from this uh, paragraph the most important keyword of this paragraph is the last line and this line is his four legs that means front legs have become longer than his hind legs that means back legs so this piece of information is very very important giraffe's front legs are longer in comparison to his hind legs this is the only piece of information that you need to keep in mind because rest the french geologist is same his finding is also same and 
this piece of information is important because he wrote it in his 1809 book called Philosophy Zoologic. Now, so only one piece of information is coming from this paragraph. Look at the third paragraph. The English naturalist Charles Darwin also thought the giraffe's extraordinary legs and neck must have something to do with foraging. Foraging means searching for food. The giraffe, by its lofty stature, much elongated neck, four legs, head and tongue, has its whole frame beautifully adapted for browsing on the higher branches of trees. He wrote on in the origin of on the origin of species in 1859. So, so far as English naturalist Charles Darwin is concerned, he is also not talking something new about the giraffe. He is also saying the same thing that has been said or that has been written by the French zoologist that is Jean Baptiste. So, Charles Darwin also is uh, Charles Darwin also repeating the same thing that giraffe's extraordinary legs, neck has something to do with you know trying to find out the food from the highest branch of the tree. So, the same point, nothing new. Now, let us move to the next part of this passage. Next part is this. In short, giraffe's long necks are the result of generation upon generation of repeated stretching and inheritance. This can be important what is the reason that giraffe got its long necks so it is because of it is the result of generation upon generation of repeated stretching that means generation after generation giraffe has been trying to reach to the highest or the uh, the uppermost branch of the tree and because of this stretching he has got this long neck during the dry season when feeding competition should be the most intense giraffe generally feed from low shrubs not tall trees what's more giraffes feed most often and faster with their necks bent again the important piece of information is that giraffe eats more when its neck is bent this piece of information is very important. This piece of information is very important because it has to do with its necks. So, the entire passage is about giraffe's neck, legs. Now, look at the next uh, paragraph. Male giraffes often fight for access to females, a ritual referred to as necking. The rivals stand flank to flank then start to whack each other, whack means hit, hit each other with their heads. The top or back of the whale armored skull is used as a club to strike the neck, chest, ribs or legs of the opponent with a force, with a force capable of knocking a competitor off balance or unconscious. Again, this paragraph is providing you some new pieces of information and this new piece of information is necking. So, a question is bound to come on the word necking because it is completely new and not mentioned every, anywhere in the paragraph. So, what necking is? Necking is as it is mentioned in this uh, uh, paragraph. Necking is the effort to attract female giraffes. So, and how does the giraffe attracts a female giraffe? That is also important by fighting by hitting its competitors in chest in skull as a club strike the neck chest and ribs so these two pieces of information are important from this one and let us see the the important information from the last two the largest males usually win these battles these battles means the back battles of necking and do most of the breeding, says zoologist Annie Innes Dagg of the University of Waterloo in Ontario, Canada, who has been studying giraffes since the 1950s. The other giraffes don't get much breeding opportunity. 
This is also evidence that females are more receptive to advances from larger uh, males. So the last paragraph concludes also that females also get attracted to those giraffes which are taller in height. So these are seven, eight pieces of information that you need to keep in mind that I have summarized here. You just check once and then move to the questions. So the first point is giraffe, tallest land mammal, 18 feet tall, stripe leaves from the upper reaches of trees. Second, long necks, it has long necks and his long necks allow giraffe to get to the part of other herbivores cannot reach. French zoologist Jean Baptiste Lamarck says, and four legs have become longer than its hinge legs, says uh, Lamarck in his 1809 book, Philosophy uh, Zoologic. Then the other points that you need to keep in mind are giraffe adapted for browsing on the higher branches of trees, says Charles Darwin, who wrote in his book, Origin of Species in 1859. Giraffes feed most often and faster with their necks bent. Necking, as I was discussing, means males trying to get uh, to females or getting attracted to females. Giraffes strike their rivals in neck, chest, ribs or legs. And the largest males win necking battles and do most of the breedings, say zoologist and in his dag. So these are one, two, three, four, five, five pieces of information on which the questions of this passage should be based if the question is from anywhere else then we'll have to see what is that so this is the first question in front of you and the first question is this according to the passage necking is what one of the important points so necking is the process of getting attracted or attracting the female giraffes that will be uh, answered to fight to woo the females Next question is, look at the next question. Giraffe's feeding is faster when it bends with its neck. How? Feeds, giraffe's feeding is faster when it feeds with its neck when the neck is bent. Not a straight, elongated or entangled. Question number 38. How does a giraffe knock its opponent off balance or con unconscious? by hitting him in the neck, chest and ribs. That means the answer should be true. And now question number 39. Which statement is not true according to the passage? This is a very serious question. In order to answer such questions, you need to have the entire points about the paragraph in mind. So the first one is the giraffe can eat leaves from the upper reaches of a tree where other animals cannot reach is correct. The giraffe's hind legs are longer than its four legs. This statement is wrong as we have seen that giraffe's four legs, that means front legs, are longer in comparison to the hind legs. So statement number two is wrong. And if it is wrong, there is no need to study. There is no need to read further options. It will save you time. Now, next question. Next question is based on words. Match the words with their meanings. Forage, stretch and whack. Forage means search. When an animal goes out to search for food, it is called forage. Stretch, draw out, whack means heat. So forage search, A2, stretch, draw out. So B3 and C, whack means heat, C1. So A2, where is A2? A2, uh, B3. A2, B3, that means your answer will be true. Now, after we have understood that all the questions of this paragraph are also based only on keywords. If you practice like this only for 15 days to 20 days, I think you cannot miss even a single question and it all depends on how scientifically, how uh, effectively you are practicing on the suggested technique. Now let us move to the third comprehension, third passage of this question paper. And again, you have to find out the keywords and you have seen that most of the questions are based only on the keywords. So make a habit of noting down the keywords.